Okay, let us take question number 6. Let f be a continuous function satisfying this equation, then for all x which of the following statements is are true, 4 options are given. So, first we have to deduce this function. So, start with this equation which is given as f x equals 1 minus 2 x plus integral 0 to x e to the power x minus t f t d t. Right. Now, differentiating this equation we get f dash x is equal to minus 2 plus here we can see x is the part of limit as well as function, but this e x can be taken out of the integral sign. So, we will apply differentiation as the product function. First differentiating e x we simply get e x rest of the function as it is that is 0 to x e to the power minus t f t d t plus. On the other hand we differentiate the second function this gives us keeping e x same e to the power minus x f x correct these two are cancelled out. Moving ahead we get f dash x is equal to minus 2 plus this term integral 0 to x e to the power x minus t into f t d t can be taken from the given equation which is f x minus 1 plus 2 x next plus f x as the third term correct. Simplifying instead of writing f x let us use y. So, that I can see it clearly as the differential equation d y by d x is equal to 2 y plus 2 x minus 3. So, we get a differential equation which is linear as d y by d x minus 2 y is equal to 2 x minus 3. Its integrating factor is clearly e to the power minus 2 x. So, clearly its solution is y into e to the power minus 2 x is equal to integral 2 x minus 3 into e to the power minus 2 x d x plus six c. Integrating y e to the power minus 2 x is equal to 2 x minus 3 into e to the power minus 2 x upon minus 2 minus 2 times e to the power minus 2 x upon 4 plus c. Right. Now, if we look at the given equation here and we put x equals 0 what we obtain f 0 is equal to 1 plus 0 that is f 0 is 1. We have here the value for f 0 as 1. Now, substituting x equals 0 we get 1 is equal to 3 by 2 minus half plus c that is c is equal to 0. Clearly we get y is equal to 1 minus x as the function. When we obtain c equals 0 this is cancelled then later we can divide by e to the power minus 2 x to get y equals 2 x minus 3 upon minus 2 that is simply minus x plus 3 by 2 minus half. So, it is 1 minus x. So, this is the required function given to us. Now, let us go for the options. The curve passes through 1 comma 2. We obtained curve as y equals 1 minus x. Let us write here. Clearly, option 1 is not correct. It passes through 2 comma minus 1. Yes, when we put x equals to 2, we get y as minus 1. So, this option is correct. Next, 
the area of the region bounded by this one is either pi minus 2 upon 4 or pi minus 1 upon 4. So, let us go for the area. Let us draw the quadrant first. The coordinate system correct. Now, the line y equals 1 minus x let us draw it like this correct. Next, we have to draw this arc in the first quadrant for the circle because it is y equals root 1 minus x square part. So, this one in the interval 0 to 1. So, clearly we can see here the required portion is this one. This is 1 comma 0, this is 0 comma 1. So, the required area is equal to the area of the quadrant for the circle minus area of the triangle. This is pi r square r is 1 divided by 4 minus area of the triangle that is half into 1 into 1. So, this is pi minus 2 upon 4. So, the required area is obtained as pi minus 2 upon 4. Looking at the options, we can see clearly option C is the correct one. So, the answer for this question comes out as B and C. This is clear. Now, moving to the next question that is question number 7. 